Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, I'm super excited for our next recipe today. It's one of those comforting foods every single South African grows up eating, but probably doesn't know how to make. So today we're making amaguinha, or fed cook, as you may also know it. And also, better to show us how is none other than Zola Nene. Hello. How are you doing, Danny? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah, so we're making amaguinha with a twist. Yes, yeah? we are making amaguinha with a twist, and the twist is that we're making them into pies. Ooh. I know, I know, that makes me dance too. Yeah. Um, so I, I know myself in my childhood, I used to eat amaguinha with mince. So yeah. I thought combine the two and make and make a amaguinha pie. Yeah, okay, why cool. not? Okay, okay, so we're gonna start with the amaguinha mix. So um, Snowflake has kindly oh ooh, before I spill the oil. Yeah. Has kindly made an actual maguinha flour mix for us. Uh -huh. So they've put all this, you know, the ingredients and flavorings in there. So okay. you just pour, pour it into the bowl for me. Okay, yeah, sure. No, you, you How much? All of this. Kitchen. Yeah, yeah, all of that. I, I do the work. Okay, Ooh, yes, you do the work. Girl. I supervise. Okay, okay so cool. then to that, you're going to add some active dry yeast. So that's okay. just in front of you there. Active dry yeast, yep. yeah. Mix it together. So there's no need. Usually when you're making your own amaguinha from scratch, you'd add salt and a bit of sugar. So that's all in the in the mix already. So okay. all you have to do is, yeah, mix it up. Right. Then just enough water to form it into a soft dough. Warm water. Warm, Warm water, tepid water. So okay. baby bath water. Is the perfect um, baby bath water? That's yeah. a new term. Okay, stop. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, you just want to make sure if you wouldn't put a baby in it, it's too then hot. Then it's too hot. It's too hot oh, for the yeast, wow. and it'll, yeah, it'll kill the yeast. So just mix that up, and then um, you can knead it for about ten minutes, just so mm -hmm. it becomes elastic. Okay. And then you want to cover it with um, cling wrap or a damp cloth. Leave it somewhere warm, so somewhere close to your oven, maybe or even in the pantry cupboard because there's no draft to make oh, it cold. right. Just until it doubles in size. Okay. And then um, it'll double and look like this. It's so can you see like that. Okay. how this is a little bit more elastic? It's very elastic. It's yep. lovely. I love it. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, then you want to roll it out. Usually um, I roll it out, you know, to a rough rectangle. Listen, amaguinha is a rustic thing. Yes, so yeah. don't be too precise. Don't okay. worry if your pies all look different. We like things that look yeah, homemade yeah, anyway. Yeah, we do, we do. And for the filling, so let me talk you through the filling while I... I roll okay, here. So that's um, traditional sort of curried mince. So okay. a bit of onion, some garlic, some ginger, um, a bit of chili, curry powder, of course, to, put, yeah. to give it the curry yeah. note. Um, a bit of tomato, some stock. Reduce it all down. You can add um, extra herbs yeah. if you want. You can it. make it anywhere you like. You it, can basically. make it anywhere yeah. you like it. You could even, you know, some people love maquinha with poloni. So chop up some poloni mm. with some cheese and fill that. Or some snook. Or some, like some absolutely. Snook. Yeah. Or, or pilchards. Yeah. yeah, people love it with pilchards okay, as well. Awesome. Okay, so cut this into. Little rounds, and then you're gonna fill one, and I'm gonna fill one. Okay, cool. Okay, so here's yours. Yeah. We just need a spoon. Okay. Grab one here. Don't we just drop it in? No, no, we're making them pi pies. Remember? Oh, we're making them yeah. pies. How I'm bonny. so tempted to just make straight up amakuenya. <laughs> no, no, no. You could. Yeah, I mean, I'm you like, could. Just drop it in. You just absolutely could. But you know, we like to zoosh things up. Okay, so you take okay, that. Cool. Oopsie. So then you you fill it. Mm -hmm. I like to fill it quite a lot because you know I don't. I don't like to be stingy when I'm okay, making cool. things. Okay, brush it with egg around, then fold it over. Because the dough is stretchy, because of the yeast, it will stretch and sort of cover everything just like this. Can you uh -huh, see? Uh -huh. Can you see? Seal okay. the edges. You can take a fork as well and just pinch them just to make sure it doesn't come undone. Oh, right. Okay, make sure your oil is hot, about 160, 170 degrees. Yeah. You don't want it too hot. Otherwise, your maquinha will burn before they actually cook through. Okay. Okay, so are your, is your seal? I'm already. Make sure you press those edges. Okay. Yeah. And then into the hot oil, and you can see it's got a gentle sizzle going on in there. Nice, can, nice. Can see, yeah. So how long would that typically take for it to look like that? So these will fry for about five minutes per side, depending on the size that you make them. So those are rather big, so maybe eight minutes a side for those. So just make sure you turn them so that they evenly color. So will you break one open for us so we I'll can see the inside? I'll definitely break one open. I love this texture. I know. It's, it's... I love it. I love it. There we go. And Ooh. I like to dip mine in some um, fruit Ooh. chutney or chili chutney or whatever you like. And there you have it. Maguinha pies. Joseph, thank you. Mm. Thanks for sharing. So good. I know, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Definitely good. I'm not going to stand here chewing while you stay. <laughs> for another <laughs> look at the incredibly delicious recipe, here's a quick recap. <laughs>
you enjoyed that recap and they look delicious, that's because they really taste delicious. It's the first time I've actually seen Clem munching on the food while we're making it. He's right there off camera munching. <laughs> I love Danilo's jacket today, but before we go over to him, the keyword for this recipe is snowflake. SMS the keyword to 33650. You'll get the link to the recipe and the ingredients.